Hi guys. <laughs> so this might, might be a funny or interesting video and it's going to be typically Swedish because it has a bizarre twist to it. So what do rich people do in Sweden when they want to play at being preppers? Yeah, let's have a look at that. I'll try to go into the story behind the, a certain kind of gated community. You can't really have a that kind of gated community in Sweden because of laws, but yeah. So let's have a look at what I'm getting at here. Boop. So here's Sweden, and then we go to Gotland. Then we go to this little place in Gotland. So what is this? This uh, little peninsula, and as you can see, it looks kind of looks like it's battle scarred, right? Uh, it has uh, a lot of shit going on here. So it was, uh, this was where they took out lime. Gotland is very famous for its limestone. So this is an old uh, quarry, I believe the name is for what it is, for lime. And in the 1960s, they stopped using it for that and the military took over for it. So as you can see here, there's a, like a straight line. <clears throat> and this was a military uh, exercise field. And the thing is, what do the military do? They build bunkers. There's bunkers all over this place. And as you can see, there are some villas as well. So yeah, those are built into bunkers. So how did this happen? <laughs> how come there's a bunch of vacation homes in bunkers in this little peninsula that's hilariously expensive? and filled with billionaires right so this is uh, the, uh, the municipality of Gotland's little page and here you can read about it you can read the history about it but that doesn't really tell us it just tells us the story until uh, the military went away so uh, this is a residence it's like a, a a paper or at least it's an online paper now i guess for fancy homes in sweden so uh, they tell us the story about this so there's this guy joachim who, who bought this area and uh, he seems like a really nice guy he he saved all the old buildings and made it sure that they cannot be uh, torn down or anything he, he preserved the cultural cultural heritage of, of the site. <clears throat> these old military buildings, mills and all, all, all that's here. These old ovens for the limestone. So there's a lot of blue, blue, blue about uh, how, how this place is working right now. So right now when you come there, there's a big gate that bars entrance. And then you can park next to the gate. Uh, because they have like tank traps and everything to get into the area and there you can borrow bicycles and then you can bike around the area and they have fancy restaurants and shit there uh, I'm not even gonna read this it's so much strange text uh, the place is so quiet something happens with us when we when we are forced to get out of our cars and, and ride a bike we're meeting each other for real, as equals, we speak to each other, uh, it is another feeling, blue, 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 well, whatever. So what happened was, they got a hold of this guy, he's a billionaire and he owns H&M, the clothing store, <coughs> and uh, he basically gave the architects free hands, like carte blanche to, to do whatever they want. The more ridiculous ideas they came up with, uh, he just said yes and threw money at them. So he has the coolest James Bond lair bunker ever. And it's so awesome. Yeah. Uh, so he, he even got a mention in the, in the paper wallpaper. So just look at this place. So th this is the old bunker. And this is afterwards. And yeah, it, it looks like some kind of James Bond villain. I imagine him sitting there stroking his white cat. 
uh, this is all kinds of awesome i would love to have that place but it's a bit too too much fashion too little functionality for me so there's a lot of information here as well uh, 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 and the thing is if you get one billionaire there the rest are gonna follow right so now nowadays this was six seven years ago or something nowadays there's a lot of people moving in they're building more more and more stuff and uh, yeah it's very trendy so people go there uh, this as far away as you can come on this island so people go there in the summer they're not there in the winter i was there a week ago to take some pictures and, and fl fly my drone <coughs> so yeah military bunkers become uh, uh, vacation homes <laughs> And they bring artists there and everything, yeah. And it, and now now it's art. So these bunkers are art. So the, this this guy is some kind of photo artist, Bruno Ers. And these are some more pictures from inside that bunker. It looks absolutely awesome. Yeah, it, it is so nice. And they have a fancy dining place as well. So uh, let's see here. We, let's watch uh, some of the pictures I took while walking around there. So this is the gate that bars entrance for cars. You can walk walk in there. It's it's you can't fence off an area like that in Sweden. We have a, we have a law called Strandskyddslagen, which means that uh, if you live like this on a peninsula or near a lake, you cannot bar the public entrance to the lake. You can have a, the little plot around your home can be private property and people can't just come in there but yeah so so this might look like a gated community but uh, it's kind of hard to do that at least in this place uh, so th these are this is where they, they have the rental bikes yeah old signs from the military days more rental bikes so this is the back side of a bunker home god my pictures are shitty i haven't run these through photoshop or done any post processing on them can't be bothered and uh, here you can see a window in the bunker apparently they have a wood stove inside <clears throat> this is another home and uh, it's kind of hard to know where the bunker begins and the new home ends there could be some kind of super fancy underground facility beneath that but usually most uh, they, they use a lot of reinforced concrete in the building of these houses or homes oh this was out of focus as well but this guy <coughs> has uh, a nice view of the ocean here's another one <coughs> This one I do know have uh, a bunker beneath it because you could see kind of details of it. <clears throat> this one just had uh, corrugated steel for walls and this big thick sliding wall. You can you can see it a bit there, uh -oh. and of course uh, bunkers as well. Here's uh, some protection from just looking inside the bunker. <clears throat> and put up some cloth. <laughs> But yeah, uh, what kind of prepper bunker is it when you have a big glass window like that? Put some bars on that window at least. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this was, uh, you can see the low window there. So it's sunk down into the ground. So this is some kind of our encampment where they had uh, artillery pieces or something. So it's not, it's not a proper bunker. It's just a reinforced cellar or something. I don't know what to call it. Here's another one, looking out over the ocean. Yeah, this looks like some kind of sci-fi dystopian, I don't know. Here's private property, I didn't enter that of course. Yeah, this was actually two different uh, houses. Uh, this is the video I should put in front of this uh, little video I'm recording now. Uh, but yeah, th this was kind of a nice place. It, it had a garage you could drive in under the, uh, underneath it and park your car. That's the little bunker complex from a bit away. Yeah, little zoom camera. 
This is uh, another home in the lime uh, quarry. Yeah, and this was, I'm not sure if this was even bunkers, but it's houses on top of the lime quarry. This is definitely a bunker <laughs> with big glass walls. <laughs> yeah, and they're building new stuff here, as you can see. Uh, this looks like regular houses, actually. So I guess there's different levels of pricing you can get. This is perhaps this is something they rent rent out in the summer. I don't know. Oh, this is a totally different place. This is not a bunker. Never mind that. <laughs> So, so uh, uh, what is the moral of this story? Rich people want to feel kind of safe, or is it just a fashion statement? I'm not so sure. This is uh, this place is so so off the beaten path. It, first of all, it's on an island, and it's as far away as you can come on an island, and it's fenced off. Um, so, if they really wanted to, that they can just uh, piss off there and uh, do their own thing. Uh, I've uh, they might not go out and say it that they're kind of prepping for shit to happen but i do believe they have it in the back of their mind somewhere because uh, even those people who so far above the shit regular people gets to see they know they know but but it's still funny that when these people go out and, and get these kind of houses or bunkers or whatever it's still gonna become trendy because all, all the hangarounds for these people just show up, come dine in the restaurants and shit, and just walk around their area. I, it is it is hilarious, but uh, not many people might not know about the little uh, vacation home village of bunkers that rich people have in Sweden in the on the island of Gotland. But now you do. Okay, have a nice day, everyone. <laughs>